Did you know not all glaciers are made of ice? In fact, in certain parts of the world, you have glaciers made of salt. You heard that right. Salt glaciers. And much how ice bulldozes its way through the land, these salt glaciers flow and deform the land around them as they move. The same way typical glaciers form, which is where you have snow and ice accumulating, eventually getting too heavy where they start flowing, salt is quite similar. Except salt glaciers are formed when deep underground thick salt deposits get compressed by overburdening rocks and this pushes those salts upwards, sort of like a lava lamp, onto the surface, creating these rather unique looking salt domes and eventually glaciers. Now the salt that manages to migrate upwards in these sort of domal shapes are called salt diapirs or salt domes. And they form really unusual shapes. In fact, in places like the Gulf of Mexico, where there's lots of hydrocarbon exploration and offshore Brazil, they often use salt domes and salt diapirs as areas to drill because they usually are very good at trapping oil and gas. Now, the reason why you've probably never heard of salt glaciers is because they're not very common. There are some near the southern Zagros Mountains, like the Kohinamuk, which creates some really amazing, visually stunning geological features. And they make for striking imagery when you fly over them in a plane. The amazing thing about this area is scientists can go there to use it as an analog. In order for us to understand how salt moves in the subsurface, these areas are prime examples of what happens and how they move. It's a lot easier to study salt tectonics on land than it is under the sea, which might be kilometers underwater. They also get nicely preserved in Iran because Iran is a very hot and arid place, which means there's limited precipitation or rainfall, therefore preserving these glaciers. Because when it does rain, the salt dissolves very quickly and often you get brine pools or ephemeral lakes. And these are short-lived until they get evaporated and they disappear altogether and more salt is left behind in a different area. But yeah, there's salt glaciers for you. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.